Levi is one of the most beloved anime husbandos with an extremely large fan base. He consistently tops the character polls for the best character in Attack on Titan, has plenty of merch, and an OVA dedicated to his greatness. Not to mention, over half of the fandom would pay good money to be stepped on by him. But what exactly is it that makes Levi so universally loved? In today's video, we are going to analyze Levi's looks, backstory, personality, and more to help determine why we love Levi. First of all, one of Levi's most talked about characteristics is that he's relatively short for a male, standing at only 5 foot 3 inches or 160 centimeters. But for the most part, people aren't really that critical about it. If anything, it just makes him kind of adorable, ignoring the fact that he's a sexy murdering machine. Despite Levi's young face, some might be surprised to find that he's actually in his 30s throughout the series. Wait, does that make him a daddy? What many believe to be Levi's most attractive features are his undercut, which could definitely land him a spot in a K-pop group, and his sharp eyes, which are very suited to his uncaring and serious outward demeanor. In terms of his style, Levi most often wears his survey corpse uniform with a light gray button-up shirt underneath. However, on some occasions, we can see Levi wearing other outfits, which always flaunt a very well-kept and formal look. Levi's voice is also admired due to his calm yet demanding tone, which compels you to do whatever he says. <laughs> Whoa, let me try. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. No. No, I don't think I will. And if for some reason nothing about Levi's appearance intrigues you, then check out this manga panel. Remind me to delete my search history after this. Overall, these traits help to justify our love for Levi, but when it comes to being a husbando, looks are only one piece of the puzzle. Before we discuss Levi's personality, let's take a quick look at his backstory. When Levi was very young, he lived in the underground with his mother Kuchel Ackerman, who worked as a prostitute and likely conceived Levi with one of her clients. Living in unfavorable conditions, his mother became sick and eventually passed away. Kenny, Levi's badass uncle, went to go visit his sister one day, only to find her corpse and a small, feeble Levi in the room with her. Realizing that this frail boy was his nephew, he decided to take him under his wing. According to Kenny, he does not see himself as a good father figure, but despite this, he taught Levi everything he knew about badassery. However, after seeing that Levi was able to fend for himself, Kenny abandoned him. I guess he was right about being a poor father figure. Some time passed, and Levi soon found two friends in the underground named Isabel and Farlin. Finally, something wholesome. But after being forced into the scout regimen by Irwin, they were killed by an abnormal titan during one of their missions. That's just wrong, man. From this point on, Levi remained by Irwin's side and continued to fight the titans that took so much from him as humanity's strongest soldier. Overall, Levi's backstory is one filled with hardship, but at the very least, it has molded him into one complex and interesting character. First of all, one of Levi's most defining personality traits is that he's badass. Yes, this is officially a personality trait. And I'm not sure if there are any scientific studies on whether someone can be attracted to badassery, but I'm pretty sure you can be attracted to badassery. Like, come on, how can you not love this? Obviously, these moments are an absolute spectacle, but it does speak to his character as well. For instance, Levi is probably one of the most reliable characters in this series due to his abilities and experience. And despite his skills, he's also quite humble, calm, and intelligent, which speaks to his leadership and character as a whole. And just so we're clear, Levi doesn't kill mindlessly. Typically, his cold-blooded nature is directed toward titans, as he is shown on many occasions to value the perseverance of human life. Now, that doesn't mean he won't kill humans when necessary, but in a world like Attack on Titan, you sometimes don't have a choice. Stepping away from the power motif, Levi also displays a strong sense of loyalty and trust. For the most part, his loyalty is selective and specifically directed toward those he respects, namely Erwin. In contrast, Levi won't take shit from anyone, regardless of their authority. Levi also has a lot of faith in his friends and subordinates as well. I don't know about you, but I find it admirable to see someone so outwardly cold and unapproachable display feelings of trust and affection toward others. It's like that stereotypical desire to make a bad boy who hates everything only show his soft side to you. That's a thing, right? At this point, you may be asking, is Levi actually cold and emotionless then, or is he kind and empathetic? Well, it's undeniable that Levi is slightly cold and unapproachable, but we don't think that makes him apathetic by any means. Like, when Isabel and Farlin were killed, Levi displayed a rage so intense that he single-handedly mutilated the titan who killed them. To us, this shows that Levi is far from emotionless and cold. Yes, this may be a violent way to display his caring nature, but this type of reaction can only be fueled by the loss of a deep love. Another scene that comes to mind is after Petra and the rest of Levi's squad is killed by the female titan. After returning from this mission, Petra's father approaches Levi, unaware of his daughter's demise. As Levi walks forward, Petra's father conveys his worries about his daughter devoting her life to Levi. Throughout this interaction, Levi continues to walk with a deep pain in his eyes, seemingly repressing his emotion. What these moments tell us is that Levi is undeniably empathetic, 
However, he's also erected a wall around him to keep out titans, oh uh, wait, sorry, uh, emotions. But can you blame him considering all that he's been through? These tragic experiences also help Levi to understand the moral ambiguity of the world around him, and he uses this understanding to guide and console others. Like, after Armin shoots someone to save Jean in Season 3, Armin questions his own empathy. But Levi steps in and defends him, explaining that if he didn't act then, Jean would have died. Through these words, I believe Levi is telling Armin not to regret his decision, which is true to Levi's philosophy. Another time when Levi shows his empathetic nature and wisdom is when he hands a devastated scout the Wings of Freedom insignia of his fallen comrade to console him after the failed female Titan expedition. This interaction is unnecessary, Levi gains nothing from it. However, Levi's empathetic nature compelled him to act anyways because he knows better than most of the pain of loss. Honestly, there are so many examples like this scattered throughout the series, but sometimes they're hard to identify because of how crude Levi can come across at times. Anyways, I think it's fair to say that Levi is an incredibly complex character, and despite fitting the bad boy role, his background and traumas remove any superficiality that may be associated with the archetype. On a lighter note, Levi actually has a sense of humor too, although a little vulgar and sarcastic. And I love that he's a clean freak, despite it potentially being rooted in the fact that he grew up in an unclean condition and may or may not have OCD due to the lack of control in his life, but who cares, cleaning Levi is best Levi. Finally, I want to acknowledge that despite Levi's titan killing prowess, deep traumas, and cold demeanor, all the poor man wants to do is open a tea shop, and no man who wants to open a tea shop can be bad. Any Uncle Iroh fans out there? If you watched our 2020 Anime Husbando tier list video, then you would be aware of my initial reluctancy with Levi's character. I know this sounds silly considering the praise I've given him throughout this video, but my first impressions of him were not overwhelmingly positive. I honestly thought Levi was cold, unapproachable, and emotionless just to fit the bad boy archetype. And in terms of his looks, I wasn't sure if he stood out any more than characters like Erwin or even Aaron. You take that back right now. In hindsight, I would now redefine my hesitancy as a misunderstanding. My understanding of Levi was superficial when, in fact, he is a very deep and complex character. Arguably, Levi is one of the most well-written characters in the series besides maybe Aaron in season 4. You're damn right he is. And in terms of his looks, I always thought Levi was attractive for the most part, but after researching for this video, I can confidently say that his fan art is on a whole other level. Literally my whole Instagram feed is Levi, and I'm, I'm not complaining. So why do we love Levi? Well, he's got nice hair, sexy eyes, and a solid voice in both sub and dub. He has good style and the body of a trapeze artist. He has a tragic backstory, which makes him interesting and a complex character. And he's quite wise due to his experiences. He's someone you can rely on and trust and has a tendency to come to the rescue at the perfect moment. He has a calm, cool, and collected vibe. And despite his cold, emotionless demeanor, which are the perfect qualities of an anime husbando, but probably ones you should avoid in real life, he's also quite caring, empathetic, and loyal. He has a crude sense of humor. He would have happily clean your house for you. He'd step on you for the greater good. And we like the way he says. And that is why we love Levi. Honestly, it was a lot of fun making this video and we definitely learned a lot about Levi and his fandom. With that said, there's probably more we could have talked about. So let us know if we missed anything in the comments below. And most of all, let us know why you love Levi. And even if you don't love him, hopefully this video is able to change your opinion just a bit like it did for us. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe for some more juicy discussions about anime husbandos in the near future. See you later.